Okay guys, so in the last video, we actually used our platypus water filter and uh, I thought today maybe we'll go into a more in-depth review um, and demonstration. When we were using it out in the field, you know, it was important for us to get water, get it filtered and get it back to camp. So uh, I didn't get into a lot of things. There is gonna be one important difference if you watched the last video that I will show you with this, this time. So this is the uh, platypus four liter gravity works uh, water filtration system um, and this actually will filter those four liters in about two and a half minutes uh, and that is of of non-active you know passive filtration so you can be filtering water while doing something else and I'll explain that more later uh, so that equates out to about two liters per minute about and that's that's pretty quick um, and then it actually is going to use a hollow fiber filter which just goes in line uh, in the in the system here and the hollow fire fiber filter will actually filter out everything down to about 0.2 microns that's including all of your giardia your salmonella your cryptosporidium all that nasty stuff that'll make you sick this filter will filter that out and it'll also filter up to about 1500 gallons of water so this will last quite some time uh, this also has let me pull this out here so it has a nice bag and it has some mesh on the back side of it to promote airflow to try and keep all this dry because the one thing you don't want is uh, to have this get all moldy and all that other stuff so this is the filter that I was talking about and I already have this put together because uh, because I used it already in the last video you can even see there's uh, one big difference here is there's no black cap and I know you guys were laughing at me and, and rightfully so but there was a black cap that covered this that really caused me some, um, some issues with being able to filter the water uh, and now you can see clearly as to why I kind of missed it because this is black and it was just a black rubber cap so it is removed and it is gone it is completely gone so I'm not going to make that mistake again um, and I know some of you are probably thinking that I should leave it on there and you're probably right but we're gonna see how this goes so this is the uh, the system itself let me just pull this apart and you can see on the water filter here this is the flow so your dirty water comes in this side here and it gets filtered through the hollow fiber filter and then it's going to come out this side um, so you have a a shorter hose here this is the short hose and it has the your pretty standard hydration bladder quick connect okay so obviously we're not going to use that but this goes on to the dirty side so you can see the flow here so this goes in just plugs right into that and then this is going to connect to our dirty bag and it says very clearly on here dirty bag it has the uh, it has the zip top opening so that you can fill your water really easily it has a nice uh, handle so that you can take this and and uh, could throw this you know with using your hand you could actually go out and scoop, try and scoop water with this into whatever water source you have uh, I will say this it's a very good zipper but it does it does try to close on itself quite a bit so I found that you know I really kind of had to keep this open if you have some kind of scooping device you can actually just hang this like I did um, on the previous video I would hang this and the 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 guy who actually uh, showed us where that stream was he had a scoop which was nice and convenient so I would scoop up the water while this was hanging and I would just you know pour the water in and once this is full it does it does kind of stay open a little bit better but this is your dirty water reservoir and you can see on here this is the the standard the uh, quick connect like uh, hydration bladder and I haven't tried you know other I haven't tried other uh, hoses or things like that to see if anything else fits in here. Um, you know, like a, a, a hose with a bite valve or something. I just, I don't know. I don't really see the, I don't see the point in doing that. So this just simply clicks in. Hopefully you heard that. And then you have your dirty water that comes out of here. 
It's going to go into the filter again. You can see our flow is going down. So this is going to go to this longer hose here. And this is very easy to hook up. One side has a screw cap and one side just has an open end. So it's very, very easy to use. It's very easy to figure out. Put that onto there. And then uh, you have the clip here. This clip is very nice for on-demand uh, water. So you could actually, uh, what a lot of people will do is they'll filter all their water so they have four liters of water in a in a clean bag here and it says clean right on it and there's no there's no real zip uh, at the top there's no way to get the water in there it just really it just comes out of the bottom i suppose if you work hard you could get water in through the through this bottom here um but don't work that hard to do this wrong you don't want to cross contaminate so you could have this hanging and you could have you could have this screwed to it off of the filter and then you can undo your clip and you can just have water right on demand if you wanted to um, or more likely than not what i would do is i would have this full and have the screw cap screwed onto this and have my clean water hanging in, in reserve and then i would actually take this have this hooked up to my dirty bag and then have another four liters of water and filter it on demand uh, and filter this right into a, a Nalgene bottle or something like that just filter it straight in so realistically with this just this system you could take eight liters of water back with you that should be enough to get you through uh, one person through a day so uh, at least a day um, so that is very handy to be able to still take that dirty water you don't necessarily have to filter it all at your source uh, you could take it back dirty and filter four liters of water at camp um, these bags they're also treated with a slime guard antimicrobial uh, antimicrobial boy that's a hard one for me to say these bags are treated with slime guard and basically it, it helps prevent the water and stuff from getting slimy and nasty in there um, and you still want to take care of these you still want to rinse them out you can see that these are wet because i've already rinsed them um, but uh you know it helps if you've ever filtered water or stored water or something like that you know the water can get kind of slimy in there and that that treatment helps it it also helps prevent any off-putting taste of like plastic um if you've ever drinking out of a new water bladder you know what i'm talking about uh, it's it's not it's not going to kill you it's just an unpleasant taste so that's a quick run through of this system here so i'm going to put my dirty bag there this is my clean bag I'm going to take the cap off of this and I'm going to take this end and screw this on and make sure it's nice and tight and I don't want to lose that cap so I'm going to keep that with the bag. So this is the system in general, okay? You have a dirty side and you have a clean side. Now the way gravity works, I shouldn't have to explain this, but as long as I keep the clean bag below the dirty bag, the water is going to go through it. Now. With that being said, I bring that up for a reason. Um, let's show everybody our water source we're gonna be using. I've been collecting this water along with some leaves and things like that uh, for a while now. You can see that's some pretty unpleasant looking water. Um, and we're going to drink that. We're going to drink that. I will be honest with you, the water that we filtered out of the stream in the last video, it certainly looked a lot better than this. But uh, this is how much faith I have in this water filtration system. So. I'm going to clamp this off, and there's a reason for that. I'll show you, actually, clamp that off, set my clean bag down on the ground, I'm going to take my dirty bag here, and we're just going to dip it into here. You can see how I really have to try and keep that it's cold guys that is cold so how much water do we have in here not much about two liters okay well that's gonna have to work because my hands are that is really cold water 
Had a little bit of ice on it. Okay. So now we can take and uh, just going to get that zipper. Now, you can see this water is a little bit yellowish from the leaves that are in there. There's actually probably a little bit of debris that's in there and all that fun stuff. So you can see this water doesn't look very good. Uh, it's certainly not something you're going to want to drink. So that is some dirty water. You see our flow here. And now we can let that go. And now you can see this water is now flowing through the water filter down the hose. Here, let me grab this other. And you can see the water coming in through here. So again, this is our clean bag and this is our dirty bag. And you can see that water flowing. Now one of the things that's recommended to do with this is to backwash that filter. Um, so what you do is when you get a little bit of water into the clean bag, you actually just reverse the flow. And you can see the water in the clean bag is now going down. You see that? So the water in the clean bag is now going down. And it's actually going backwards through the filter back into the dirty bag. Now that is clean water that we just filtered or washed the filter out with back through it. So I know what you're thinking. We just contaminated it, but that's not how it works. We just put dirty water through the filter to clean it. It ended up in this bag. And then we reversed the flow to put all the dirty stuff out of the filter into the dirty bag. Does that make sense? Okay. Now we're just going to raise the dirty bag above the clean bag. And you can see the water is going back into the clean bag. And like I said, this will filter about uh, two liters a minute. So um, there's about two liters in here. This should take right about a minute. So I'm just going to set that down on the ground. And I'm going to hold this. We're going to keep this a continuous shot. I might speed it up. But uh, I don't want anybody to think that I went and got different water or anything like that. So um, we're actually going to filter this through. All right, guys, we're about done. So we kind of skipped through a little bit, but we kept it all one continuous shot. And one thing I should mention is this isn't a charcoal filter. Um, so it's, it's not going to do a ton for the taste. It's going to make the water safe, but it's not going to do a whole lot for the taste. It's going to remove all the bad... Um, bacteria and microorganisms but it's it's not necessarily going to make it taste amazing so uh we will drink the water it might not taste that great but uh, we will drink it um and then if i make more videos you know that i didn't get sick and die so you can see on this side it didn't do a lot for the well i probably shouldn't be back washing that <laughs> oops uh it didn't do a lot for the color but uh it certainly did filter everything out of it so this is good and if you're still really worried about it if you really want you could end up boiling this it's still not going to change the color or the flavor but uh you know if you're really that worried about it you could do that i am not that worried about it this is a system that's been on the market for uh quite some time um and the, it's it's a well trusted system by lots of people who live off grid and, and go off grid quite a bit so um that's probably good enough for now. So what I'm gonna do is use my clamp. Just like that. Okay. So now this was part of that, that idea I was telling you about before where now I have filtered clean water and I can have that water on demand, take a drink, good to go. So uh, you can see it's not very, uh, not all that pleasant looking. I 
it tastes fine. I really don't have any issue. It's maybe a little, a little leafy. Yeah, it's maybe a little leafy, but that water is fine. It's perfectly fine to drink. Um, so I've had, uh, I've had worse, that's for sure. Uh, so this is a good in-depth look at the Platypus Gravity Works 4-liter system. And uh, right, right at the time of filming, it runs around $100, $110. And I know it a, sounds a little pricey. Oh, almost got you guys. It seems a little pricey, but it's worth every penny when you go out into the into the bush and you can filter water and you don't get sick. Um, there's nothing worse than getting sick by water. Not only while you're there, but even afterwards, you can have long-term effects from that stuff. So uh, it's, it's, it's well worth the money. There's certain things you just don't skimp out on. Water is definitely one of them. So that is our in-depth look at the Platypus water filter. My name is Mike with Mansplaining. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about this or you wanna see something else done, let me know in the comments section below. We'll see you guys next time.